So today we're going to talk about what I call the false sense of security blanket. I had this friend at a small startup company and he used to monthly or every couple of weeks go and pull data from a lot of different sources out of our operational system. Sometimes he would go around and ask people and he would just plug in numbers. He had some formulas, but for him, as soon as he had that spreadsheet all filled out, it was kind of a look backward, look forward type thing. It gave him an idea of where the business was and it just gave him this sense of comfort, right? Of being able to predict where things were going. And I used to refer to it as his security blanket. Oh yeah, he's gonna go to his security blanket yeah. and then everything's gonna calm down. Um, but I'm finding more and more, even now, 20 years later, I'm finding in companies where people are pulling data down, they're putting it into Excel, they're manipulating it, and they get to this set of numbers and it gives them this sense of security, their security blanket, if you will. But I'm starting to see some issues with that and how looking at those numbers might actually be giving you a false sense of security. So the obvious one is, is that the data they're pulling down isn't right, it's dirty, or mm -hmm. there's some other flaw with it. Um, that would be an obvious reason for it to be giving you a, a false sense of security. But when we were talking, you had some other ideas as well. So what if people aren't looking at the right things? Yeah, so verifying the, the validity of your source data is key. Um, we see it all the time where companies, organizations build out these very complex data models um, and reporting and analytics uh, just to come and find out that the source data being fed into that isn't accurate. Um, and it goes back to being um, an organizational wide policy where the way data is getting entered into the source system all the way to how it's being looked at in those final reports is accurate. Right. And then from a data strategy perspective, what do you think companies might get wrong? So one of the major pitfalls with data strategy is by having a too narrow of an approach. And by that, I mean companies will invest so many resources and money into um, a specific data solution or data technology. Um, for example, companies invest a lot in analytics, but they don't invest or focus on um, the rest of data strategy, data governance, data quality, and the change management involved in getting that. Mm -hmm.